Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. 23-year-old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a in Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a murder for high Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I want to thank God first and foremost. I've been through a lot. To everybody who thinks there's no such thing as second chances, I'm here to tell you that's a lie. You just got to keep working hard. Shout out to everybody in Bentham Hills Correction Facility, Albion Correction Facility. Anybody on parole, it's hard, but you can do it. You can get second chance. You can make mistakes and come back. My husband, Black Love, I love you, Papoos. When I didn't believe in myself, you believed in me. My business partner, my brother, that joke crack. <laughs> the whole entire team for me, Mafia. I just want to say, y'all got fat while we starved. Shots in your ass, pads in your bra. Man, and she's, she she's on the same page with me like that there's no need to try to tear somebody down i i can say what i said you know i let her know that i'm super proud of her that i'm happy for everything that she was able to accomplish and to not let people make her feel like she's doing anything wrong by being successful you know those are the things that i said i would never you know come onto any public platform and say what she said to me you know just know it was all great and it was a one it was a wonderful thing and she actually you know she extended her hand the same way that i would do to someone else I'm posting my friend talking about justice for d block now that remy my son and went to jail and i just want to say same trade options Nicki minaj is gained and risen to the, basically to the top. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I'm happy for her. That, that's great. I'm happy to see any black, um, well, young, old, doesn't even matter. Any any chick that's from the hood trying to do a one-two thing, I'm I'm happy. Like I'm pretty sure. Like I, the hate, I see the hate that she gets. This is the same hate that I I got when I was doing it. like mm -hmm. when I was home. I used to see I used to see Nick all the time. She came like she came to my birthday party. I went to one of her parties, and I remember us from when she was on the Come Up DVD. She had her little her baby fat bag, pulling stacks out the bag or whatever. Like I remember her seeing her coming up, and I remember how it used to be when I was doing the DVDs, when I was doing the Smack DVDs, and the chicks that was you know over that was out before me, and they used to be like yo yeah ram ah ah whatever. But when I started doing my thing, they started throwing shade on me like people are gonna come at you yeah me personally i say stuff like that like i say i'm laughing ha, ha, you go rewind it now i'm talking about all of y'all like I'll, I'll do a rhyme and i say so much stuff that at the end you don't know who i'm talking about it's, it could sound mm -hmm. like i'm talking about a number of different people and i really don't care because at the end if anybody i'm so content and so secure with what i do that Whoever feel like they said, I feel like I can handle that. Okay. So it's up to Nick. If she wants to respond to it, great. But I don't feel like because you're not known to anybody, you don't have a right to respond or you don't have a right to come at this person because they've made whatever. You don't know what this chick did in her, her area or where she's from yeah. or where she's trying to come up. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The rap game's been messed up for females. I mean, I know Nikki's been doing her thing now, but it's it's. I'm happy for. Yeah. But I've never had any of these chicks that I put under a rock falling <laughs> back out. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm actually happy for. I like Nikki. Listen. Minus the gay stuff, but. Like I love pina colada mixed with Remy Red. Shout out to Remy. Free Remy. Word. You know what? Free Remy. You free Remy. Same trade options. Nicki Minaj is gained and risen to the, basically to the top. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I'm happy for her. That, that's great. I'm happy to see any black, young, well, young or old, doesn't even matter. Any any chick that's from the hood trying to do a one-two thing, I'm, I'm happy. That the son of rapper Remy Ma, 23-year-old Jason J. Scott, along with another man, have each been charged with first-degree murder, two counts of weapons possession, and reckless endangerment. The charges are in connection with the June 7, 2021 murder of 47-year-old Darius Gullibeau in Queens. 
Investigators are looking into the possibility if that was a murder for hire. In recent events, Remy Ma, a prominent figure in the rap industry, has found herself amidst significant controversy involving her son, Jason Scott. Jason Scott, who is Remy Ma's son from a previous marriage, along with his friend Richard Swagger, has been arrested on serious charges related to a murder case. The incident in question revolves around the murder of Darius Gulbal, a 47-year-old man with a criminal history. Darius Gulbal, also known as D-Block, was fatally shot in Queens on June 7, 2021. Reports suggest that this could potentially be linked to a broader criminal context, possibly involving drug-related activities and prior criminal associations. The connection between this tragic event and the broader public interest stems from Darius Golbalt's familial ties. He is reported to be the cousin of Kenneth Petty, who is married to Nicki Minaj. This familial connection has fueled speculation and intensified media scrutiny, especially given the long-standing feud between Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj. Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj's feud spans over a decade and has been characterized by public distracts, personal jabs, and ongoing animosity. This feud, rooted in professional rivalry and personal grievances, has often played out in the public eye, shaping perceptions and fueling speculation. Amidst these developments, there have been allegations and insinuations in the media that suggest a possible motive involving Nicki Minaj herself. Some reports and social media discussions have hinted at the idea that Remy Ma may have been somehow involved in orchestrating or being linked to a plot that inadvertently led to Darius Gobal's death. These allegations, while speculative and unproven, have added a layer of complexity and controversy to an already tragic situation. The unfolding legal proceedings and ongoing investigations will likely continue to attract significant public attention and scrutiny. The outcome of Jason Scott and Richard Swagger's legal cases will undoubtedly have profound implications for all parties involved, including Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj, and their respective families. Remy Ma, a respected figure in the rap industry, has been at the center of a long-standing feud with Nicki Minaj that dates back more than a decade. The animosity between them has been fueled by public distracts, personal disputes, and competing claims to the title of rap's queen. Their feud has not only captured the attention of fans, but has also shaped perceptions of both artists in the media. Remy Ma's personal life has also been under scrutiny. She has faced legal challenges herself including serving time for a previous shooting incident. Despite these setbacks, she has maintained a significant presence in the music scene and garnered support from fans and peers alike. Jason Scott, Remy Ma's son from a previous relationship, has now been thrust into the spotlight due to his arrest in connection with the murder of Darius Gobald. This tragic incident has drawn further attention due to Darius Gobal's familial connection to Nicki Minaj through her husband, Kenneth Petty. This familial tie has led to speculation and rumors surrounding the motives behind the crime, adding a complex layer to an already tumultuous situation. The intersection of personal history, familial ties, and ongoing legal proceedings has created a charged atmosphere surrounding Remy Ma and her family. The outcome of Jason Scott's legal case will undoubtedly have profound implications for both Remy Ma's personal life and her public image within the rap community. In a recent turn of events, Remy Ma's son, Jason Scott, alongside his friend Richard Swagger, has been arrested under serious charges linked to the murder of Darius Gubalt. The charges include first-degree murder, second-degree murder, criminal possession of a weapon, and reckless endangerment. This development has sent shockwaves through both the rap community and the broader public due to the severity of the allegations. Darius Gulbalt, a 47-year-old man known in certain circles as D-Block, was found fatally shot in Queens on June 7, 2021. His connections to Nicki Minaj's husband, 
Kenneth Petty have intensified media scrutiny and speculation surrounding the motives behind the crime. Reports suggest a possible link to criminal activities and previous law enforcement interactions, further complicating the narrative. The involvement of Remy Ma's son in such a high-profile case has raised questions about family dynamics and potential influences. Speculation has swirled in social media and tabloid headlines, with some suggesting broader implications involving long-standing feuds and personal rivalries within the rap industry. As legal proceedings unfold, the focus remains on uncovering the truth behind Darius Gobalt's death and determining the extent of Jason Scott and Richard Swagger's involvement. The outcome of the case is expected to have lasting implications for all parties involved, including Remy Ma, her family, and the wider community impacted by these events. Darius Golbolt's background includes multiple encounters with law enforcement, including arrests and previous incarcerations related to drug distribution. He was part of a larger investigation termed Operation Heatwave in 2020, highlighting his involvement in criminal activities. The complexity of Darius Golbolt's connections adds another layer to this already contentious situation. Notably, he is reported to be a cousin of Kenneth Petty, husband of rapper Nicki Minaj. This familial link has fueled rumors and conjecture, particularly in light of the ongoing feud between Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj. Allegations have surfaced, suggesting a possible motive tied to this familial connection, with speculation that the incident may have been part of a larger vendetta or retaliation plot involving personal disputes and rivalries within the music industry. These allegations, while unproven, underscore the intricate web of personal histories and public personas at play in this unfolding drama. As investigations continue, the focus remains on uncovering the truth behind Darius Gobalt's death and determining the roles, if any, played by those now facing charges. The outcome of these proceedings will likely have profound implications for all involved, impacting not just their personal lives, but also their reputations within the rap community and beyond. The animosity between Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj reached a boiling point with public insults, subliminal messages in songs, and direct confrontations both online and at industry events. Central to their feud were competing claims to the title of Rap's Queen, with each artist asserting dominance over the other through lyrical jabs and personal attacks. One of the most notable incidents occurred in 2017 when Remy Ma released Shether, a scathing seven-minute diss track aimed squarely at Nicki Minaj. In the track, Remy Ma accused Nicki of various offenses, including using ghostwriters, undergoing plastic surgery, and being inauthentic in her public persona. The song sparked widespread debate and further intensified their feud. Throughout the years, their rivalry has remained a focal point in hip-hop discourse, shaping fan allegiances and influencing perceptions of authenticity and credibility within the industry. Both artists have garnered support and criticism from fans and peers alike, with their feud often overshadowing their respective musical achievements. As Remy Ma finds herself entangled in legal and personal turmoil, the specter of her feud with Nicki Minaj looms large, adding a layer of intrigue and speculation to an already complex situation. The enduring legacy of their rivalry continues to resonate, reminding observers of the volatile intersections between personal grievances and public personas in the world of rap music. Amidst the unfolding drama involving Remy Ma's son and the murder of Darius Gilbalt, there have been sensational allegations of a murder-for-hire plot with connections to Nicki Minaj. These allegations have added a new dimension to an already intense situation, prompting widespread speculation and scrutiny. According to reports and social media chatter, Nicki Minaj has insinuated that Remy Ma may have orchestrated the murder attempt as a means to target her indirectly. The speculation suggests that Darius Gulbalt, who is reported to be a cousin of Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, 
may have been unintentionally caught in the crossfire of a larger vendetta or revenge scheme. The narrative gains traction from the long-standing feud between Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj, characterized by public animosity and personal attacks through music and media. The history of their feud, combined with the familial connection to the victim, has fueled theories of ulterior motives and hidden agendas behind the tragic events. However, it's crucial to note that these allegations remain unproven and speculative at this point. Law enforcement officials continue to investigate the circumstances surrounding Darius Golbalt's death, focusing on uncovering concrete evidence and motives behind the crime. As the legal proceedings progress and more details emerge, the public and media attention surrounding these allegations are likely to intensify. The outcome of the investigation will ultimately determine the veracity of these claims and potentially shed light on the broader implications for all parties involved, including Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj, and their respective circles.